fellow travelers, Mark here with Walters World, and today we're outside my local regional airport to talk about how will airports look after the quarantine? Because you know what? Things are starting to open up, people are starting to travel again, and I think it's a good idea we talk about some of the things that you should expect when you head back to the airport. And one of the things you're going to expect is a lot of mask wearing okay so make sure you're picking up some masks before you travel and when you go to the airport um i know dads of the world will be vindicated by this but you're gonna need to be getting to the airport even earlier than before yes check-ins and the security checkpoints and the food lines everything is going to take a lot more time because you will definitely be seeing social distancing in the airport so expect to have that line longer and have that space between people when you're checking in when you're going through security when you want to get that starbucks coffee to get going in the morning when you're at the gate you're going to see a lot more social distancing which means you're going to need more space you're going to need more time and you're going to need more patience because since it's going to take longer people are going to be getting frustrated okay so when you're coming make sure you're coming early like I said in terms of checking in I highly recommend you download the app for every single airline you're going to fly with this year because that's gonna be your best way to check in get your boarding passes and everything to eliminate having to hold stuff and grab stuff and do things like that you're gonna to wanna to make sure you're doing that. I know for us, we've got our Delta app. We check in with it, we get our bag stuff, we beep us in, we do all those things there. You're gonna to wanna to have that to avoid some of those lines. Now, another thing is though, when you're going through security, why it's gonna take longer, it's not just the social distancing, is you have to realize those TSA agents, they're gonna to have to start cleaning out the bins and, and the, the conveyor belt kind of stuff. They're gonna to need to be wiping those things down and that will be more time taken. So that's why you're gonna be getting here a lot earlier, okay? Also, what you might see are temperature checks. I know a lot of people are like, well, why do we have to have the temperature checks? Is this, this isn't anywhere before. Actually, when we were flying in East Africa last year, we had to do temperature checks in Tanzania and Kenya because of Ebola and stuff like that. They wanted to make sure nobody was sick. You will probably see those things popping up occasionally at certain airports to go along with your usual TSA security check, walk through you know put your arms up kind of thing you probably will see some of those not everywhere but it's something you should be aware of and the thing is is these suggestions these things I'm talking about this is going to be a country by country state by state county by county city by city neighborhood by neighborhood airport neighborhood airport yeah it's your neighborhood airport it really will be different every place you go okay so I'm just trying to give you some ideas of things you might want to like kind of prepare for in case this does happen okay now for my friends that like to use those airport lounges because i'll be honest when i get a chance to use them i always do for that nice space and the awesome buffet and the free drinks and stuff like that i hate to tell you lounge people your lounge buffets bye bye also those free buffets like at the restaurants and the bu free buffets at free buffets at restaurant those free buffets at hotels they're probably going away as well all right and so those things it might not be as I guess special to be going to the lounge if you're using that to get away from this paying the overpriced food at restaurants and the airports so you do have to think about that also with the bars and restaurants in the airports they also will have to be doing social distancing so do expect less tables longer lines but you will probably see more grab and go kind of foods kind of pre-packaged for you to use and so that will probably be more of an option okay that's what i'm saying is like get your get your tap credit card we can just wave it by and it'll get let you get your sodas or your drinks that way might be a better thing okay also when you're leaving the airport your baggage claim you know you get off the plane it's like i've gone through all the safety measures i've gone through all these things and i just want to get my bag and i always want to go home well your baggage might be a bit different because one airlines might be limiting carry-on luggage because they don't want people getting up and moving and stuff like that you know just in case so they might limit carry-on baggage so that means you're definitely going to be checking some stuff and when you're checking your stuff also think about the social distancing how many people do you see social distance at baggage claim nobody they're fighting all over everybody so that's going to take longer okay and they i mean so be prepared for that also at the gate you might see airlines are going to change how you board your plane so it might be we're going to board 
back to front. It doesn't matter if you're first class. We're going back to front so then people have less contact with others and that's one thing you're gonna see, okay? So be prepared for that. And the thing is, is life will get back to normal eventually. It will just take time. And our local airports, they're gonna be doing their best to get these things going. But I thought it was good for all of you to know some of the things to look out for. And if you've been flying recently during the quarantine, let us know some of the things you've seen at airports that make you go, huh, or would be something important for people to know before they fly so they can be better prepared, okay? So I hope this helps you all get ready for your next flight because you know what? We're all gonna be traveling again real soon, but we'll be traveling real together real soon, a little bit differently, but always keep a smile when you fly. And I'll say bye from outside of Willard Airport. Bye.